Welcome to another episode of FishingAdvanced.com. It is a beautiful early June morning, about 62 degrees, cloudy out, getting ready to rip some lips here today. So taking the Pelican 8E, we're going to head out onto a new body of water here that I've never been to. First thing though that we got to do is I got to take this guy and drag him down this path here, probably about 75 yards to where our entry point is going to be. So this is going to be interesting. Here we go. Look at this guy on the Whopper. That's hilarious. Come up and smoked it. I saw this guy jump. I don't know if it was him, but I saw a fish over here jumping and jumping and jumping and laughing at me. But he's not a monster, but we'll take him. Lapper. Ooh, thanks, buddy. Wow. Hold on there, brother. That scared me. Mr. Rock Bass on the plopper. Alright guys, 
Welcome here to our uh, new episode here of FishingWithVance.com. This is a high life. I'm out here on the Pelican Bass Rigger 80 and out on a new body of water here today. So we're out here on a uh, new lake and trying some new things. I've never been out on this body of water. I fished it from the shore one other time last year. Caught six bass and so far right now I'm up to six bass. That'd be five largemouth and one rock bass. So I got my four poles here. Basically what I have is I have three compres and three Stratix. Uh, I have one lined with uh, spider wire braid that's 50 pound braid. We got the good old whopper plopper on there. Been seeing a lot of action on the top here which is a good sign. Also have then I got this Loomis Pro Green with a Shimano Saros on there. I got that guy Texas rig and I just have a, uh, a yum ribbon tail worm on there right now. Haven't had any luck with him. On the other compres then you guys have ever watched any of our videos, you know I got the hooch on there. Caught three on there so far, or two on there so far, I guess. And then I got this jig. My partner wanted me to put this guy on. I haven't even tossed him out yet, but we got a lot of rocks here and stuff. I'm gonna toss him out there. We're gonna see what happens here today. We're gonna go from there, so stay tuned. Good times, new body of water, no idea what's going on here. But it's gonna be fun. So, stay tuned. You know what we do when we do it. Fish on. I wish I had that on camera. Him and his brother both come up to hit that. And he got it. That was fun. Nice little bass. He's a little chunk. Thanks, buddy. Poochie never lets me down. Threw that worm up in there. Nothing. Alright guys, this is a wrap from the water here today. End of the day with 18 total. Caught them on a few different lures, which I was pretty happy about. Um, caught them on a square bill. Caught them on the uh, hoochie mama. Caught them on the whopper plopper. And a few different others. So we'll get that all summarized here for you all. So then give you a quick summary of the boat and how it did. Whenever I get in here and hopefully I can get into shore and, and get up on land and start to get stuff organized. So. Uh, it's just a little too hot. Fish are basically shut down. No sense really getting after it. We're going to have a long day fishing tomorrow as well. So get up on shore and we'll go from there. Alright, we're going to give this a go. Try and get in on the shore. We got everything moved to the back of the boat. I got my trusty rope around me so I don't lose the boat. Let's see what we can do here. This isn't going to be fast. Probably not going to be pretty. Too bad at all. Well, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take all this individual stuff and haul it up to the truck. No way I can carry that boat up there with all the stuff in it. Alright, well now comes the fun part. We got the majority of all the heavy stuff. The tackle bag, poles, battery motor. They're all holed up and in the truck. Now we gotta take this guy up this way. So we're just not really sure what the best way to do it is. There's not two handles on each side. I don't know why they did that. That would obviously be a design improvement. Uh, 
Obviously, I don't have a wheel system or anything like that. So we're just going to have to good old fashioned manhandle it. So here we go. Too bad, pretty light. Could could have been worse. I'm out of shape. Could have had the truck park closer. That's all right. So let's get her loaded. All right, let's load this bad boy up. there. Pick that right on up in there. That's uh, just an F-150, six and a half foot bed. Fits in there pretty good as you can see. A couple ratchet straps, I cross them. It's just personal preference, you can put them the other way. It doesn't really matter. That thing's not coming out of there. I traveled the other day with just one here in the back. So, that's the Pelican Bass Raider 8E. Um, a couple of things that are good about it. So obviously it's lightweight. I can manhandle it, I can move it, I can take it, I can do whatever I want. It is gonna be modifiable, customizable. Apologize for this truck. Which I do have to do some mods. Obviously you can see the, the floor that's in there. Pretty good floor. Not sure I'm 100% sold on that. Uh, no table like we have in the other ones. I gotta figure that out what I'm gonna do for a one man table. We got a couple ideas on that. No rod holders. I don't know what they were thinking not putting rod holders in there. There's only one handle per side. One here, one up in that corner. No handle there. No idea what they were thinking. Um, and then the seats, obviously that plastic seat leaves a little bit to be desired, especially after about six, seven hours on the water. So we got to work on that. We got to get that figured out, but that's what we do here at fishingadvance.com and Miller Modifications. So we'll get her figured out. Good day on the water though. Ended up with uh, 18 total fish, uh, 14 or 15 bass, three or four rock bass. Good day, not working. Hope that you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this little Pelican Bass Raider. Fish on.